and welcome to another YouTube video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. I hope you're all very, very well. Today, I'm going to be talking about games. I just got back from holiday from the Lake District. Oh, lovely time it was. And we played so many games while we were there, which was just lovely. And it got me thinking about a video that I'd made, not even last year, the year before. David and I made a video for Vlogmas one year where we were talking about um, some of our favourite games. It was very casual. We just sort of pulled games off of the shelf and then spoke about them. Um, and I loved making that video. David and I are very big games players. We've got a lot of friends that we like to play games with as well, which is lovely. And um, I have selected some games here um, to, that I think are well suited for playing in the summer um there are one two three four five six seven games here to show you and what i will say is part of this video is hashtag ad because the lovely people at ridley's games were kind enough to send me um three games that i have played and reviewed and they have sponsored this video as part of their hashtag summer of fun campaign to get people playing games throughout the summer which i am fully on board with so i will let you when when i'm talking about one of the ridley's games um hashtag ad will appear somewhere on screen um they are three grouped together and i just love every single game that i've played here so i did very well in selecting <laughs> which games to pick from the ridley's games because i just feel like they're all really great let us start with a very exciting game Dobble, Harry Potter Dobble, which I didn't even know existed. Dobble is a game that David and I are already fans of and I've played many, many times. Um, but I didn't realise that there was actually a Harry Potter edition. So for those who aren't familiar with Dobble, what I will say, I'm not going to go over like every single rule of the games here because glazed eyes, no one wants that. I'm just going to be talking about um, where you can play them, why I think they're applicable to play in the summer um, and sort of ages and things like that. And I'll just have a, a brief overview of why they're so fun. So Dobble is a game where you get cards lovely round cards with symbols on these are harry potter symbols and they are just the cutest thing look at these little guys hedwig a hat let me show you more lupin snape a key a bellatrix a key cauldron that's a howler i wasn't sure what that was um and you play a game where you basically every single one of these cards will have a matching thing on it which is unbelievable that's got a hat on each of those have got a hat on um but yeah you can play a whole it's basically a game of matching um symbols but there are a number of games you can play within those because it's a fast speed game of matching symbols because oh there's an owl on there oh there's a broom on there blah 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 but you can also play games where you have to get as many cards as possible you have to play games where you have to get rid of as many cards as possible um it's so easy to carry around so i just feel like that could just go in my backpack and i will take that everywhere with me and make everyone play it with me um it is for two to eight players which is a really good number because I'll, very rarely do you get games that are, you can play with two people that you can also play with a large number of people when we were just on holiday um, we were on holiday with seven people, which a lot, a lot of games that I found were for two to four. Um, and it's really great when you get games that you can play with more people. So um, ages eight plus. You don't have to be a Harry Potter fan to play this, but it is helpful because as you lay your cards down, you have to say what is on the card. So for instance, it'd be like Philosopher's Stone, Broom, Tie, Monster Book of Monsters. But you would get familiar with those anyway and if, if that's not your bag then you can go for normal double but how could I not mention Harry Potter double and yeah I just loved it I think it's very very well easily all you need for this you don't even really need a flat surface you just need a surface and people you can play this on the train you can play this in a park all over the place so that's my first one very very good the next one I've got I do feel like you would need a table for this. I have played four of these now and I've sat at a table for every one, so I feel like you would need a table for this, but it's a really good sort of event game. Um, and I, I mean, I'll just get into it. It's, it's an escape room in a box made by um, the company Cosmos. This is Exit the Game. This is the fourth one I've done. This is just the box because you use everything in the box um, and then you throw it away. So it's a one player, it's a one time thing. It costs about £12, but you get so much use out of it. It's such an entertaining evening. Um, it's definitely, definitely worth it. So this is Dead Man on the Orient Express. I've also played a Pharaoh's Tomb one, a Secret Lab and oh, uh, Forgotten Island, I think is the other one I played. And this has been my favorite so far. This was definitely the most challenging, but definitely my favorite. You get, um, I don't wanna give away too much because um, every time I've played, like the first time we played one, it was so exciting because we couldn't believe how well it worked. It was just fantastic. Um, 
and I just like it's just so exciting and really adrenalizing when you're playing them um so what you do is you get like um there's a series of cards in there you get like uh, puzzle cards answer cards and clue cards you also get a little pamphlet um which has got puzzles and things to look through throughout and you have to match up things with the cards and yeah it says here that you're supposed it's a it's a one to four player and um 12 ages and up um but we played this on our break last week and there were seven of us and we still did it in just under two hours so i feel like it, it may be like one it is four on the old from novice to expert level but escape rooms in the box are just so much fun and if you're into escape rooms then this will definitely be a good thing and like we just sort of had like piggy bits and just cracked on with it and just had a lovely time so i would definitely recommend these especially if you've got people coming over for dinner or something it's a really good thing to do afterwards um but yeah you could definitely play this set outside in the garden but yeah we loved it so the next few games are the games that have been kindly sent to me by ridley's games and i will start with my favoritely packaged of the three um this is peach snaps um and this is in a little box that looks like a peach and the label on the top is a is a leaf i mean come on i've also seen in um waterstones avocado smash which is made by the same people um and that um that box is the shape of an avocado it just looks really great i think like this would make a really good gift um, and this is a fast matching game it's a juicy game of fast reactions um it is ages six plus you can play two per two players upwards so it doesn't even give a sort of limit of how many people you can play it with and it takes roughly about 10 minutes per game you can really go for it um really really love the packaging but also really really love the graphics and everything on it so you are matching um peach related items so here are some full peaches here are some um peach cans they've also got different backgrounds um there are there's peach slices as well peach slices and peach halves and you are um be it, it it's a super fast game you are matching things based on the symbol the number of symbols and the colour on the background so it's really really quick but as well as that there's also action cards that can start new piles you can freeze a pile um, and yeah you just it's just really really fast going I took this to the lake when we were in um, uh, the Lake District and uh, myself and my cousin Laura um, sat and played it on, on a rock um, just by the lake so I feel like you could do this you don't even really need a flat surface again as I said with Dobble you just need something that you can sort of balance cards on um, so perfect for the train but yeah in particular we had a great time playing it there um i really really loved the i feel like it's a really great game to play with like all the family um because there's not much to explain you just sort of match things um and again another one that you can really carry around with you in a really really good little packaging so very very much enjoyed that the next game i've got is draw a blank which is a game um which is for two plus players from the age of 10 up i feel like some super clever people who are less than 10 could play this um, and it takes about 60 minutes for a game however i will go into more details about this later but i feel like you could make this shorter or longer if you wanted to um it is basically a game of um making words based on letters and blank counters so if i show you the blank counters i've got here uh, what i really like about this is that everybody plays it all together so it's not like it's one person's turn and you have to wait like everyone goes all the time so it's 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 constantly there's constant action um that you get um a bag of oh god i love that sound so much you get a bag of blank tiles which are like these little guys little white little blue ones with little white blanks on and then you get a bag of letters everybody starts with five letter tiles and as you work your way around the board you roll a dice and that number corresponds how many blank tiles you get then you set up the board as you want so for instance if I pulled three blank tiles I could put an R at the beginning um, and then go blank 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 and um, then you get 30 seconds everybody gets 30 seconds to, to write as many words as they can think of that start with R and have three blanks afterwards um, and then it's whoever gets the most points now things get a bit complex because dropped it on the floor things get a bit more complex because um, if you've got two letters in you get double the points um, and you add you keep adding and adding to the board and it's just really fun and again very fast paced I love things where you write down things and then compare with each other so it's the person who scored the most points um, writes down uh, like reads out what words they got and you check them off as you go and it's just really interesting we played this last week um it's just really interesting to see like the range of different words that people get like i hadn't even thought of some of the words that other people had um we played this on a table um, i would say probably best for table play because you do need something flat however if you had something flat to lay the um to lay the the little tiles on you definitely wouldn't need a table so yeah again another one you can play every 
everywhere. I feel like this would be a really good pub game. Um, more, I will be mentioning another pub game later. But yeah, really, really enjoyed playing this one. Um, and yeah, a bit more, bit more complex, but like it was good to use the brain. It was good to use the brain. So the next game is Nope, um, which is another card game. Love a card game in the summer because you literally can take them anywhere. I mean, look, that's not going to take up much room in a bag, is it? And you can play them anywhere. Um, this card game, before I even tell you what it's about, the colours in this are just... When I opened this, I was beside myself of how amazing the colours are. They're just paired so beautifully together. Look, this orange and green. I think the purple and the, the purple and the orange go really well together as well. The green, I'm just going to show you. Look, look at those colours. So lovely. So the aim of this game um, is that you are to hold on to your cards for as long as possible. So you're trying to get other people to get rid of their cards because they will get out. Um, they just have to lay the amount of cards based on the number. So they have to lay either two orange or two green. Um, there's also action cards and things which like means you can nominate people. I really, really liked it and I just love the feel of the cards. I know it's, it's quite a simple thing but before I'd even paid it I was like, David, these cards feel so lovely. And I honestly think it is the most beautiful colourful card game that I've not even that I own that I've ever seen I really really love it um there's lots of tactics involved with sort of like keeping an eye on how many cards your players the other players have got left because you want to be able to get them out um as I said with card games you can just bring them anywhere and this one we I think we played yeah we did we played this at the beach um and it was we just played it on a blanket on the beach um and it was lovely and you could just sort of carry it anywhere with you it's very easily transportable and yeah another another fantastic game and I will keep on going on about those colours because they're Look, that's my favourite combo, purple and orange together. Lovely, and yeah, loved it. So those three were the games that Ridley's Games were kind enough to send me, and you can check out Ridley's Games website down below, and I've actually got a, um, a, a link where you can get 15% off, which is Lauren15 off. I will link everything down below so you can look at the website and you can see my um, my coupon code, voucher code, voucher code if you want to get some money off of those games, but highly recommended. But there are two more to recommend um, also, so I will move on to the last two. So the last one is very, very very lowbrow um, and it is a game called Shut the Box. Um, now David and I discovered this game when we were um, out for a walk with my sister and her husband. Um, we stopped in a pub and in the pub um, at the at the bar they had a selection of bar games um, and they had a list of them and I just said oh can we have Shut the Box we're gonna play that outside. I didn't know what it was and it is <laughs> It is very old fashioned, very simple to learn, but also very just sort of a bit addictive, I guess I'd say. So it is a tray um, with these wooden things on which have got numbers one to nine on and you get two dice um, and you roll the dice. So I've rolled six and five there and you have to shut these. So that adds up to 11. So you have to shut these of what adds up to 11, two at a time. So I'm going to go nine and two um, and then you roll again and that's nine. So I'm going to go four and five. Then I go again and that's 11. So I'm going to go eight and three. <gasps> Getting tight now. And then nine. I haven't got anything for nine because one, six and seven, none of those add up to nine. So I've lost. So the aim is to roll a selection of numbers with your dice. Um, which mean you can shut the box. It's just really simple. But I just feel like it's a really good thing to sort of like, if you had, like, because it was a bar game, you could just sort of sit around, we were chatting, we'd pass it from one to the next person and then whoever got to shut the box, we all like cheered for them. Um, this is one of David's favourites and it's, <laughs> we've taken it to the beach with us. We went, we've been um, trying to eat a bit more dinner at the beach um, and we took it down there and he was just having a lovely time just playing that. So that will keep him quiet for hours, guys. Um, so I very much enjoyed that. And then the last one I've got, Oh, it's heavy. It, this is a garden game that you absolutely must play outside. I will show you the box because it comes in so beautiful a box. This is Mulky, um, which is a Finnish game. Um, and it's all made out of this lovely wood. Um, and it comes with a uh, selection of 12 um, pins, which are uh, numbered one to... You can see how much it's been used outside. One to 12. You, you lay them out, a bit like Tempin Bowling, and then you lob this at them. Um, and your aim is to score 50. Um, however, if you go over 50, you get knocked back down to 25. And the scoring works that um, if you knock one pin over you score the number that's on the pin so for instance that's a bad example because it's number one if I was to knock this pin over I would score two however if I was to knock four pins over I would score four um, but so it gets you have to get more um, accurate uh, the higher your score gets because you don't want to go over to 50 and be knocked down to 25. We bought this for my sister for her birthday um, after I'd seen it on um, Zoe, <laughs> Zoe Suggs um, Instagram stories um, and since then we've actually bought it for two more people because <laughs> we just enjoyed it so much. It's a really good summer game. Although you need to play it outside you can play it on all terrains. We've played it like on sand at the beach. we played it on grass as you can see. Uh, we played it around David's mum and dad's house on their concrete patio. Um, yeah it's just sort of like there's no place. The only thing I would say is don't put it in front of a 
glass window because I think you could lob that right through a glass window. But this has been one of our favourite summer games and I just feel like we've just got so much use out of it so far. This is actually my sister's one um, and she's just got so much use out of it so far and I just feel like it comes in a really nice box as well. We bought it for David's dad and um, I just think it's a really nice gift and a really fun thing to play. So those are some of my favourite summer games. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I certainly have enjoyed playing all the games and I'm about to play some more now. Um, as I said before, if you would like to check out any of uh, Ridley's games, you can go to the link down below and I get 15% off of them. Thank you so much for uh, to Ridley's Games for sponsoring um, that part of the video where I mention the Ridley's Games. And I will see you all again soon for another BookTube video. Goodbye!